in section 5.2 we're going to be multiplying polynomials what we're going to do is we're going to begin by multiplying the coefficients in front so that's a negative 4 times 3 when you multiply the coefficients you get negative 12 and then x cubed times x squared when you multiply like bases add the exponents so you get negative 12 x to the fifth okay and number two when we we want to distribute because we have a set of parentheses so we want to multiply this times this so we're going to take this negative 6 and multiply it times 4 and that gives us negative 24 and then we have x times x they have known coefficients of 1 so when you add those together you get x squared and then we also have a y so I'm going to multiply that and I'm going to get negative 24 x squared y. Now I also need to multiply this to the y because it's distributive. So I'm going to now say negative 6 times a known positive 1 is there. Okay, so negative 6 times a positive 1 is a negative 6 x. And then this time I have y to the 1 and a y to the 1 so that gives me y squared. So when you multiply like bases you add the exponents. Alright. Number three we're going to do something similar except for we're going to have to do it three times. So we want to distribute negative 4ab to everything in the parentheses. So we're going to have negative 4 times there's a known coefficient of a 1 right here in the front. So negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 okay now I'm gonna work with my a's I have one a here and an exponent of two there so it's three and then I have a b and then I also have an x next I'm gonna distribute to this middle term so I have negative four times the known, ne known one there so negative four I have a and a squared there so that's a to the third I have B, and then I also have a Y, and then I also, done with that one, I'm going to multiply this out to the third term, so make sure it's distributed to all three terms. So now I have a negative 4 times a negative 3 is a positive 12, keep the A, keep the B. Okay, before we finish, we want to make sure none of these terms are exactly the same. This is an A cubed BX and none of them are the same so we are finished <laughs> number four is a little bit different it's a binomial times a binomial and if we look back at all the other ones it was monomials this one's times a trinomial this is a monomial a monomial and this one was a monomial times a binomial. So this is our first one in which we have a binomial which is two terms times a binomial which is two terms and with this we have to use the FOIL method F-O-I-L and that stands for first outer inner and last term okay so the FOIL method we're going to do first, so that's going to be neg uh, 3y squared. There's a known 1 there, so you get 1 times 3 is 3, and then add the exponents of the y's. Now I'm going to outer, so I say minus 2y. Now I'm going to do inner and get 15y. And then last, 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. Before I finish, I have to add like terms. So I have 3y squared plus 13y minus 10. So when you have a binomial times a binomial, we're going to foil it out. First, outer, inner, last is our saying that helps us remember that. Okay. Number five is a binomial times a trinomial. So we're going to 
do similar. I'm going to take this first term, which is a 2x, and distribute it times everything over here in the parentheses. So one step at a time, that's going to be 2x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus 4x. Now I'm going to go back and take this positive 3 and distribute it to everything. So that becomes 3x cubed minus 3x plus 6. And now I want to add like terms. So I'm going to have 2x to the 4th. I'm just going to mark them out as I've used them. Now I'm looking for an x to the 3rd. So plus 3x to the third. I'm going to put these descending um, in descending order according to the variable, the x variable, and the exponent. So next is going to be minus 2x squared. Okay, now I have these two terms, an x term here and an x term here, so I need to add those together to get just 1x. And then I've used those two, and I have just a 6. Now before you're done, make sure that there are no like terms that you can add together that we didn't leave any out. And then that's our answer. Number 6 is also going to be a binomial times a binomial. So we're going to foil first 2n squared. Outer is negative 14mn. Inner is going to be negative 9nm or mn. Either it doesn't matter. There's the order doesn't matter on those two. It's commutative. And then a negative times a negative is a positive 63m squared. Now these two terms, because they both have an mn in them, are like terms. So I get 2n squared minus 23m n plus 63m squared. Number 7 is x plus 4 squared, which if I write it out, it's going to be x plus 4 times x plus 4. Now it's a binomial times a binomial, so I have to fool. First, outer, inner, last. I like terms in the middle, so we get x squared plus 8x plus 16. When you get to the part where you're adding like terms, you never add the exponents. You just add the coefficients in front of the variable. And number 8 x minus 5 squared means x minus 5 multiplied twice, which is a full x squared, then that becomes negative 5x, negative 5x, negative times a negative is a positive 25, add my like terms in the middle, and we have x squared minus 10x plus 25. And we'll try this one more time with number 9. So I have 3x minus y times 3x minus y. First, 3 times 3 is 9x squared minus 3xy minus 3xy. And then a negative times a negative is a positive. We add our like terms in the middle. 9x squared minus 6xy plus y squared.